Hello again guys and welcome back to another Big L Devon video and this is a continuation of our Nordic Myth uh, series which is, uh, there's a lot to go over, there's, gonna, <laughs> there's a hell of a lot of content to go over and I've already covered quite a lot of content but I thought whilst I'm sort of um, preparing new videos I thought why don't I sort of recap or change or, or sort of add amendments to um, some of my older videos or add a few little extra details and I've gone through some of my older videos and I feel that and the videos are fine, I've got no problem with them and they'll stay up for those who've enjoyed them. What I'm going to do is when I cover a topic like one of the stories for example, I may refilm some of them uh, but keep the odd ones up there for those as I say who, who like them, but when I film the videos I will do one video where it's just a story itself. So it's a nice simple video telling you the story or telling you about the god or goddess in question. Um, um, and then I'll film the second video where I analyse what that story is trying to tell you and what it it's sort of um, how it gives us an insight into what ancient Nordic society was actually like because of course religion and society um, influence one another and so if you look at the religion of an ancient group of people you get a, a little you know a little snippet of what those people were like what their values were what their ethics were, were like uh, what they saw as being good and what they saw as being wrong for things to do um, obviously there are other ways to discover this um, um, studying ancient historical um, manuscripts such as the laws of the land and taxation records and all the rest of it, right? But religion um, shows at least the spiritual background of the people there and what they saw as their ideals. It's not saying what society um, really was like, but what they aspired to be, um, the very best members of their society, to some extent at least anyway. I'm not saying religion makes you a better person than everyone else, doesn't matter whether you're religious or not but i'm just saying it's a reflection but certainly in the more ancient periods where religion was much more important than it is in modern society it's just a reflection of what it was like um what the people were like back then and so uh, what i will do is i'll do as i say a second video following um, following the more simple this is a story i hope you enjoy it um i will do my analysis of the, the 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 story or the the profile of the character or what was the god i keep calling them characters I don't know why uh, the gods for example and things like that i will i'll give a more detailed analysis for those who are interested so that way if you're already familiar with the story you don't have to re watch the video about the story unless you just want to you know a uh, top up, uh, a little top up, so to speak, or if you're just interested to hear me tell the story, because we, we, are, well, you know, the ancient religions, they are oratory in many respects. They, they are stories to be told through the word of mouth rather than on written form. That's the tradition in, in a lot of the old religions. Is that you know that's why druids, for example, existed in in the ancient British culture. Um, that's why the Romans killed them, <laughs> every single one of them. I bet they could get their hands on at least anyway, because they knew if they killed them, they could no longer record the history of their people because the religion um, and the history of your people uh, were often combined, you know, and sort of mixed up. That's where you get stories of like Beowulf, for example. Um, probably a myth mythological uh, uh, character who never existed, but he, what he did, were probably the acts of some of you know uh, dramatized, brought up you know sort of acts that actual real Vikings would have performed. So um, to some extent, at least anyway. So it, as I say, it's an interesting way of trying to do it, and it's, that's the way I'm designed to do it: story and then analysis. Um, uh, so as I say, so if you know the story already, um, you can either listen to me just to hear my, my, my way of telling the story, or you can just skip it and go straight to the analysis, um, or if you're not interested in hearing the analysis, you just want to hear the stories, you know, say, especially if you're a bit on the younger side, um, you, you, you know, you're a kid and you just want to hear how Thor killed Jorgamunda and Ragnarok and things like that, the exciting stuff, then please, by all means, feel free to ignore the, the analysis for another time, perhaps. Um, and just listen to the stories and enjoy yourself. 
think I've gone on enough there. That's an update on where the, the, this uh, the Nordic uh, playlist is, is going um, and, and how it's progressing. Um, and uh, I will see you soon. I'm going to just quickly film a video on Odin, my Patreon god. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be just off the top of my head. So if I forget things, forgive me. Um, but please go watch the more detailed video if you want more details, okay? See you now. Bye-bye.